Hey, what's up guys? Syed here. Uh, today I have Zahrin with me. Uh, I think some of you may remember him from the Honda Vezel review. Okay, so he's joining me today on this uh, Honda Integra review. He's owned an Integra Type R before, correct? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. so he, I think, definitely knows more about Integras than me. Lah, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, some quick uh, specs for this car before we go on into the actual review. This is the Honda Integra, not the Type R. This is the considered the base. Mm, base version, yeah, mm. 2.0, uh, 2 liter um, Honda Integra uh, non Type R. So, this has the K20 engine. I'm not sure which variant of the K20. Uh, 2 liter 4 cylinder 158 horsepower uh, engine. Okay, 191 Newton meters of torque, uh, 0 to 100 in about 8.7 seconds, which actually isn't like super fast or anything, lah, to be very honest. <laughs> yeah, in this day and age, uh, not very fast, even though the car looks very sporty and all that. One of the more uh, interesting things about this car is that it's one of the more fun front-wheel drive cars to drive. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then also it's quite light, only 1.2, just under 1.2 tons or 1,200 kilograms. This car also, one thing I want to point out is that it's quite rare in Singapore. Almost, not say impossible, but very difficult to find if you actually want to buy one. Mm. Um, and the prices are all over the place so I can't really comment on the prices because I've seen some of them for like under 10k Depri, some of them above 10k um, but you won't be paying a ridiculous kind of uh, Depri as compared to maybe your S2000s or your FD2R those cars right now they are asking for a very high price lah, basically yeah. Yeah, yeah okay because people the owners know the demand and all that uh, for this car, I don't think you'll be paying that kind of uh, ridiculous pricing But this car is also very hard to find So if you are able to get one, then uh, you know Yeah uh, You're in luck lah, basically, you're very lucky um, And this car, the one that I'm driving right now, will be scrapped uh, soon Okay, so um, yeah. yeah, it's quite That's wasted so sad, yeah, Quite <laughs> wasted lah, because you see the condition and the bodywork, the paintwork, everything For a 15 year old car, it looks actually Still very, very good. Yeah, very, very, very good, good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm engine tip-top condition mm -hmm. and also yeah i want to thank uh, Isaac from car buddy for lending me his car this is actually his car i want to thank him for making this review possible i'll put his details in the description he's a car dealer so if you need any help with uh, consignment or selling buying car loans whatsoever you can always uh, reach out to him okay all right let's get on straight to the review is it the steering alignment off you see the steering is a, like it. Uh, the steering is tilted a bit to the right, but the car is going straight. Yeah. And I just said this car is in tip top condition. <laughs> the engine is in tip top condition. Yeah. The rest not very sure. This car's lowered also, right? Uh I'm not sure if it's lowered. It looks it like looks it's lowered. lowered. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's lowered. It's quite smooth, huh? Yeah, it's not bad actually. Yeah, I don't know if you're a passenger, you can feel, but for me as a driver, I feel like the engine is smooth. Like, mm, yeah. yeah. You don't feel any jerkiness yeah. when you're accelerating or whatsoever. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot take this seriously. <laughs> uh. This alignment. Uh. This looks very funny. Uh. Yeah. It's definitely stiff. Uh. It's, defi it's smooth, but it's stiff. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, coming from my vessel, I don't really notice it that much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your vessel is <laughs> <laughs> notoriously uh, stiff. But yeah, like like you said, like, even though it's stiff, but it still feels smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah correct. It's not really that uncomfortable, is it? Yeah. I also like the, the leather seats, uh, the brown mm, colour. It really yeah. looks very good. Actually, this is the first time I've seen one with brown colour leather seats. Oh, is it? Oh, usually, yeah. it's black like, all the Yeah. Black. Normally, the standard one, they'll yeah. go for black. This looks quite good. Uh. Oh, to, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of like, uh, not say not a big fan, like I like to drive them but not as a daily, like this kind of cars, uh, yeah. where it's very stiff. I know what you yeah. mean. Because I, I have a friend who drives a WRX, so when I'm in his car, right, as a passenger, I cannot even text on my phone, <laughs> uh, because it's really that bumpy. My eyes just all over the place. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's why my own car, when it's, uh, even though it's lowered, it's still very comfortable. Mm. But then that's, that's the kind of thing you sort of have to sacrifice if you want like performance in uh, the corners correct. to be able to take the corners out flat correct yeah unless i mean unless you're driving a luxury vehicle then of course it's different lah. Mm, correct. Uh, like m3 or something like that those with adaptive suspension uh, yeah uh, then different uh, yeah 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 correct Wow, but I really like the interior, man. Very yeah, it's very well maintained, surprisingly. Yeah, well maintained. Reminds me a bit of the S two thousand as well. 
Actually, the only the only the only thing I can see that's quite, I mean, a bit worn off is the, the leather leather seats. That's about it. Yeah. But, but other than that, it's very well, well maintained. Yeah. Mm. I think quite normal. Like yeah. you go in and out, then you park under the sun. And yeah, all, precisely. Floor it. Oh yeah, the signature V Tech sound. Yeah, but it. Yeah, 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 but you don't feel it a bit <laughs> kick in. Yeah, yeah, you don't really feel it <laughs> kick in that much. <laughs> mm. I think like like what he mentioned before, because it's uh, it's the base engine model. Yeah. So it's not like the Type R, like how when the Type R VTEC kicks in. Mm. Uh, the Type R uh, Integra Type R. What's the? Do you feel like it's a big difference from this? Um. Well, to be honest, when accelerating, yes, I do feel a big, a big difference. Okay. Because for, 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 for the Type R, okay, at that time, I believe it was about two, almost 220 horsepower. Mm. When it first came out, it was 220 horsepower. Um, and uh, in, in those days, like 0 to 60 in, in uh, under seconds. 6 seconds. Oh, uh, six seconds. Uh, considered very fast. It's considered very fast already. Okay. Okay. 15 years ago, it was considered fast. Actually, now. zero to hundred under six seconds, for in this day and age for a normal car, I think quite quite good also lah. I would say. It, yeah, it's quite good. But but then you you also have to consider nowadays even SUVs can do zero to uh, six. Ah yeah. Correct. Uh, zero to hundred in six seconds. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> so for a car that's that's this light. In those days, to be able to do below six seconds is actually very good already, lah. Mm. Okay, okay. So, what do you think of the car so far? I think, I think to me so far, like like what you said, you said the engine is in very good condition. You can actually feel it when when you're driving around. Yeah. You know, even during accelerating, it's like it's really smooth. The only thing is like you mentioned before, lah. When you stop at a red light, there seems to be a bit of a jerk. Yes. Yeah. And and that's that's what uh, Isaac mentioned previously. I, I think there's maybe some issue with the gearbox or something like mm. that. But other than that, in terms of driving, cornering, it it's I think it's good enough, man. Like for a fifteen year old car, I think it's good. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Only people who know cars will be able to appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. This is an Integra. I think the other thing Isaac mentioned is that it's a really a fun little car to drive uh, mm. because. Uh, my, my previous experience with driving the Integras is that they're actually quite agile mm. and you know can weave in and out of traffic quite easily I, I don't feel confident doing that with the steering <laughs> not, like straight, uh. ah, not straight not <laughs> straight uh. I don't feel that confident <laughs> okay. yeah. boot space because boot I think space, yeah. ah, you can boot fold down the rear seats yes correct, correct so it looks quite it looks yeah, quite spacious mm. and because the, I think the opening is quite big uh. mm -hmm. Yeah, easy for you to load your stuff in and out. The exhaust also not that loud, ah. Yeah. Very low and bassy. Mm. It's not like those WRX kind of exhaust. Where it's like you can hear the VTEC open up, but yeah, I think you my don't feel that jerk. I think my two point uh, feels. Sportier, <laughs> the air is in the engine lah. Yeah, yeah, oh, maybe yeah. because it's my exhaust. I am not very sure. Yeah. Because normally when the VTEC kicks in, you will feel a bit of a jerk. Yes. Uh, yeah. But this one, you, it's like a smooth transition. Yeah, like very that. smooth. Uh. Too smooth in fact. Yeah, too smooth. <laughs> Suspiciously smooth. <laughs> you don't get that excitement. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up. You flooring it? Uh? Not really. Not really. Yeah. Okay, I'm just like half, half, halfway. Halfway. Okay. Later, you just try to floor. Uh. How was, is it as agile as your Type R? Not Type R, sorry, your Integra Type R. Mm, I no. would say almost. Like. Almost, uh? Uh, almost. Oh, like. not bad, uh? I think I think it's because he's done the suspension. That's why. Uh, 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 uh. So it's like you feel that confidence in taking the corners and changing lanes. Even okay. though the steering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You can. For me, a bit unsettling, uh, so I I cannot really focus. I always have that feeling. Hey, what if? What if? You know, when I yeah. Well, you, what do you think of your firmness? Uh? Is it very firm? Mm, I think it's considering... I, I believe he's put in coilovers. Mm. 
Um, when when it comes, it really depends on the type of road that you're driving, lah. Mm. Honestly, it's like uh, I th- I think on these kind of roads because that there's, there's quite a lot of bumps, so you really feel it a lot. Mm. Uh, but other than that, I don't think the firmness is that bad. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, his his yeah. his callovers are quite good. Mm. Uh, that sound that sound is annoying, man. Which one? Oh the, yeah, there's this wobbly sound coming from the rear left, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I seriously think it's one of the rocker arms or or the suspension. Mm. Love the acceleration on this car. <laughs> <laughs> not that fast, lah. Right? It's not that fast, not but that it's really a big difference from my vessel. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Big difference. <laughs> okay, now that I've driven this car, I think I probably stick to my Civic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> steering wheel like this I really have to adjust my grip. Ah yeah. I yeah, cannot yeah. like like that. Yeah <laughs> yeah, correct, correct, correct. The brakes a bit spongy but they work lah. Yes, they, they stop. work. Ah, mm. yeah yeah yeah. They do. They stop you well well enough. Mm. So you don't really feel it's that low ah. Yeah, but when you go outside and you take a look it's ah, like it looks very low from the outside. Mm. But actually inside it's it, quite okay. the, the, height, the seating position is ah, just spotty, nice. Ah. Yeah. Uh the height um, you won't really feel like it's you are in a like sports car, lowered sports mm. car. Even though it looks like that from the outside. Even when you're getting in from getting yeah, in from outside, yeah. it's not really yeah. that difficult. Yeah, not difficult yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's not like you're trying to get into a Lotus or anything. Ah, correct, correct, correct. You know, but yeah. yeah, it's still it's still very comfortable. Yeah. So yeah, that's the overall uh, impressions of, of this Honda Integra. Uh, so just to sum it up. Um, it looks very good for a 15 year old car mm. Acceleration, if you're looking for like a um, Exhilarating or thrilling kind of ex- uh, feel when you accelerate Probably not gonna get with this car lah, to be very <laughs> honest uh, I think you're better off with a FD 2.0 um, FD2R or S2000 lah Because uh, Zahrin used to drive an S2000 mm. So S2K, the pool is like a type oh. R kind of pool, right? Oh, it's that. That's a totally uh, different, totally different level. Uh, different level, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe but that's why this car is not as expensive as those cars, lah. Yeah. Um, the closest one would probably, as in, not say closest. Uh, if you want something like this, uh, but with a slightly, to, slightly more exciting pool, uh, probably the FD two point oh. Mm, yeah, FD two, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know because I own that car. That's why <laughs> I can, uh, you know, yeah, I can say that the stiffness is a bit. I still cannot decide whether it's stiff or not. Because as a driver, mm. I felt like it was quite stiff. Mm. As, a as a passenger, it was ah, it's actually quite comfortable. So uh-huh. what, do you, what do you think? I think I think for me it's uh, okay. It's don't liv- compare to your vessel. Uh, uh, yeah. It's livable. Livable. Uh, uh, I can I can live with but it. But it's more on the stiffer side. Yeah, definitely. definitely it's more on the stiffer side. Okay. Yeah. If if you're used to to driving like very. Uh, Comfortable luxury cars, then maybe you wouldn't you wouldn't like it, lah. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. but it's it's not it's not something that uh, is going to annoy me all the time. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a lot of space in, at the front for the driver and passenger. As in, the footwells are big, oh, yeah. seats are comfortable. Driving position, I think, um, is really quite good, lah. Mm. Quite good. Uh, interior, I think, for a fifteen year old car, looks. Oh. Pretty good. good, yeah, very yeah. good. Uh, it's actually quite driver focused. You can see like the aircon panels and the infotainment screen it's is all directed uh, towards the driver. Yeah, it's tilted towards the driver. Mm. Correct. Uh, reminds me a bit of the S two thousand lah, but yeah. not as exotic lah. Yeah, <laughs> but it's still you know quite quite a unique interior. I would say. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's about it for this review, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section down below. Uh, Thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next video.